he found my puzzle so interesting that he just tried to buy the pieces and everything, so... Hi guys, I've got a wash jig for you, or wash gig, or I don't know how it's called, but let me show you the puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle by Jumbo, and the title of this one is The Toy Shop. I was really happy when I got this puzzle because I've seen a lot of them when I lived in London but they're not that easy to get in Slovenia so when I saw it in the shop I was like okay I have to have this. And for anyone who doesn't know this is basically some sort of like a mystery puzzle because you're not puzzling the actual picture but you've got different options so for this one you have to puzzle the future and then they've got other options as well when you have to puzzle what someone sees on the picture so it's like his perspective and stuff like that. So they have different surprise puzzles, I guess. I was really looking forward to doing this puzzle, but then my sister's done it and she said it was so difficult <laughs> that it kind of put me off doing it for a while now. So she said that this picture basically does not help at all. So in the back, you have some sort of like an example of how it should look. And she said that the example on the box is way better than the actual puzzle. So since then I'm kind of been like postponing doing the puzzle but I said enough is enough, I want to tackle it, I want to see how it is. I mean after doing the thousand piece Ravensburger puzzle challenge without knowing the picture and it was like one of the most difficult puzzles I've done. I don't think this one should be that bad but I don't know, we'll see. I'm not gonna put the timer on for the puzzle but I'll just mark my times down as I normally do. So I'm gonna see how long it's gonna take me to do the puzzle. And I think it's time to see what's in the box now. I'm not sure if I've done any jumbo puzzles before. And the puzzle quality looks quite good. It's a bit softer than I would want it to be, but still a very good quality. And the picture is very clear on it as well. So my sister has eliminated the frame for me, which is gonna help me when putting the puzzle together because it means less sorting for me. And they have a puzzle hint as well, which basically shows you five details within the puzzle to help you solve the puzzle, I guess. And it says if you want more hints, you can visit washjig.com. So I guess it's one of those things similar to the exit puzzle. It's like try to solve it on your own, but in case you get stuck, here are the hints. So I think that's quite good. I hope I'm not gonna need to use them, but it's good to know that they exist. And a small hint that is written on the back of the puzzle hint paper is Can you remember how much fun you had visiting your local toy store on the weekend with your family and friends? Did you used to spend all day in there playing with all the toys and wondering what to spend your pocket money on? Do today's toy shops still have that wow factor about them? Try to imagine how this toy shop, its customers and staff might look today. What will be the must-have toys that children can't wait to get their hands on? Will it still be dollhouses, magic tricks, train sets and dress up? Or will children only have eyes for the latest gadget and gizmos that cost a fortune? This is the scene you have to puzzle. So thanks for the tip and let's see if it helps. It was really weird to do the sorting because I've been doing the full flip lately and it just felt like it was dragging on for so long because when you do the full flip it normally takes like I don't know five to ten minutes to flip all the pieces over and then you start assembly and here it's like half an hour of just sorting and I have no idea how I sorted because there's so many colors on each piece that I don't even know what I've done so maybe the full sort was a mistake I don't know but it feels like I kind of got out of it a bit or maybe it's just not the right puzzle to do the sorting, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But the frame was really easy to assemble and it was a really good fit so I didn't have any misfits which is always a good sign. I have to admit that this puzzle is definitely more difficult than I expected it to be because I think what my sister said was actually quite accurate. What I've done so far doesn't match at all to the picture. I don't know how it's gonna be when I finish the puzzle, 
but so far the picture is completely useless for me so it's quite difficult and I've got a lot of like separate pieces just floating about and I have no idea where they belong to and I think the best feeling is when I connect something to the frame and then I know exactly what's happening in that area and I can just build from there It's been about two and a half hours and I feel really stuck right now because nothing seems to be happening at the moment but the one thing that keeps me going is every time I connect something together it's just becoming more clear how the picture is supposed to go so that helps a lot. So I decided the best thing to move forward now is to do shape sorting. There is not really that many shapes, it's mostly ribbon grip cut pieces and there's some others but I think it's quite obvious to see the difference what's vertical and what's horizontal so I did my best to try to separate those but the only way to find out is when I'm actually gonna be doing the puzzle. I genuinely think that this puzzle would actually be quite easy to assemble if I had a picture to go with it because it's got a lot of like colored sections but I just don't know where they go so then everything is just spread all across the puzzle and it just keeps me wondering because I don't know where the pieces actually go and that's the most difficult part of this puzzle. So I have to admit that I didn't do the sort well because the horizontal and vertical pieces I yeah I basically completely messed them up but it doesn't matter because it's still easier to look for the right piece when everything is in line because you know exactly what you've already checked so it's still a bonus <laughs> and also my sister went to get some food so she brought the puppy upstairs because we've only had him for a week and you know we don't want to leave him alone so he doesn't pee or something <laughs> and Oh my god, I genuinely thought that he's just gonna be sleeping next to me and he found my puzzle so interesting that he just tried to bite the pieces and everything so yeah, that was definitely added difficulty to this puzzle. So I finally finished the puzzle and it took me just under five hours which I don't think is that long because you have to keep in mind that I basically did not have any picture to follow and what my sister said about the differences in the picture on the box and the actual puzzle there is minimal similarities between the two puzzles so I can see what she was talking about there are a few bits here and there that are like similar to each other but the majority of the puzzle is like completely different picture so from that point I would say that they didn't really do a good job with this particular puzzle I don't know how the other puzzles are because this is the first one I've done but I'm slightly disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. But regardless of that, the puzzle quality is still good and the picture was really enjoyable at the end of the day, so it doesn't matter that much. There is a puzzle challenge out there that you don't get to see the picture and you're supposed to complete it under three hours. So I didn't even get near to the three hours mark. And if you wanna see how I did, just watch this video up next. Bye.